president? Me? Why not? I'll be your campaign manager. But I could never be school president. Think of the work. Think of the responsibility. Think of the power. I'll do it! Here, sign your name on this line. When we get to school, we'll take this into the principal's office, and you will then be officially entered in the race for school president. Good, we're on our way. I hope I won't be expected to do something right away about teachers' salaries. Why are you crying? I don't know. I was jumping rope. Everything was all right when... I don't know. Suddenly it all seemed so futile. Boy, this auditorium is packed with teachers and kids. Shh! Schroeder is starting his nomination speech for you. I am here this morning to nominate for the office of school president a great young man. But first, I'd like to say a few words about Beethoven. Oh, good grief. I accept the nomination for the office of school president. If I'm elected, I'll do away with cap and gown kindergarten graduations and sixth grade dance parties. In my administration, children will be children and adults will be adults. I may even do away with stupid elections like this. Thank you. I've been taking a private poll of the voters. I don't believe in polls. The way I see it, you have the backlash vote, the front lash vote, the whiplash vote, the eyelash vote, and the tongue lash vote. This would give you 73% and your opponents 22%, with only 5% undecided. I believe in polls. I'm a reporter for our school paper, Linus. Would you care to tell us what you intend to do if you are elected school president? I intend to straighten things out. We are in the midst of a moral decline. We are. I'll just put down that you're very honored and will do your best if elected. The press is against me. Hey, you! Who are you going to vote for? Well, you better! According to my private poll, you now have 85% of the vote. That private poll worries me. 